Well, we're almost there. You can see behind me the crews are making the final finishing touches in order to close the interchange this weekend here at 270 in Dorset. I'm Lee Hilner, MoDOT's project director for the 270 in Dorset project. This weekend, starting Friday night at 8 o'clock, October 15th, we will close the interchange so that we can convert it to a diverging diamond interchange. A diverging diamond interchange is a style and a layout where the traffic lanes cross in between the ramps, which provides easy access on and off the interstate. We selected a diverging diamond interchange, or what we call a DDI, at this location because it's better, it's faster, and it's cheaper. It's better because it's, it's safer. It's safer because you can make those left turns on and off the interstate without crossing opposing traffic. It also reduces the number of conflict points at those signalized intersections. And because there are fewer movements at the signals, the signals work much more efficiently. So when, they, when the signal goes a full cycle, there are fewer movements to service, so you don't have to wait as long when you're at the signal. It's faster. We are building this DDI in one construction season. We started in March. We anticipated the single point interchange, which was originally destined for this location, would take a year and a half to build. A single point interchange is the style that is, is built at 270 in Olive and 141 in Manchester. The DDI is much cheaper. We're building this DDI for just over $10 million. The single point was estimated to cost over $23 million. How do you drive a DDI? Well, it will be different. It is new. It's going to take a little while to get used to. We ask drivers to please pay attention and be careful when they come through here. But it's basically drive, like driving any other interchange where you follow the guidance of the signing, the pavement marking, and the traffic signals. There'll be plenty of guidance to, to direct drivers to the proper location as they travel through the interchange. So again, please be careful and pay attention as it's going to take a few days for, for folks to get accustomed to it. This is the fourth DDI in America. MoDOT built two in Springfield, Missouri, the oldest being just over a year old. That location has been very successful. So far, crashes have been reduced by over 50%. There's been no pattern of wrong way drivers. We expect a reduction of traffic crashes here at this interchange, not only due to right angle crashes with the new left turn configuration, but we also expect a reduction in crashes, rear end style crashes on 270 that are related to the traffic backing up along the ramps, as we anticipate traffic backing up on the ramps to be a rarity since the new interchange will be so much more efficient. Our schedule, again, we will close the interchange starting at eight o'clock Friday night October 15th, and what that means is we will clo close Dorset Road and the interchange ramps. Mainline 270 will remain open, but the Dorset Road and the interchange ramps will, will be closed all weekend and will open Monday morning at 5 a.m. on October 18th, no later than. If things go well and we finish early, then we'll make a determination of whether or not we can, we can open it up on Sunday afternoon. We also will close the interchange next weekend, which is October 22nd through 25th. The reason why we need to do that is we have to put the final layer of asphalt on the pavement. We don't have enough time through for one weekend to do all that work. So we will have a full closure again next weekend in order to finish that work and restripe the interchange. I'd like to thank the local drivers for their patience during this construction time. And, and handling the backup with patience. Uh, I'd also like to put special thanks to the local companies who've had to deal with this major construction project in their front lawn all construction season. They've been very good to deal with and very understanding and uh, we couldn't have, have been as successful as we have been without their cooperation. So in summary, there will be a learning curve. We ask folks, please pay attention, be careful when you come through here. It's gonna take a while to get used to. We ask folks to go to our website, which is 270dorsetpage.com. That's 270dorsetpage.com. We have a video on the website that folks can watch. 
that gives a good explanation of exactly what to expect when you drive through here. It's a video animation from the driver's eye that goes through all of these movements and so folks when they come to drive through here will have an idea what to expect. So again, there, uh, there will be a learning curve, but we think folks are really going to like this interchange once they get used to it. Drivers are very adaptive, they'll catch on very quickly. It, it's really going to be a, a historic change here with this new style interchange, and uh, we believe it's going to be a great thing for the area and something that uh, we can all be proud of. Thank you.